For my final presentation, I really wanted to just change the narrative and talk about having a positive attitude during a time where there's really so much to be negative about. And every conversation is dominated by, by negativity. And every social media outlet, every time you turn on the tea, you know, someone's complaining about something. And um, there is a lot to complain about, though. All the, the social unrest, you know, political disagreements, and of course being in a global pandemic, there's there's a lot to be negative about. And one of those three things is just dominating our world right now. And, and all of that is really negative and could take a toll on us. So I want to try to be positive and use this presentation to focus on why we should be positive and what we can be positive about. <clears throat> I think to a certain degree, we all we all have a choice on how we want to act. We can be positive or negative. And like I said, I want to be positive and, and spread that positivity to the people around me and the people who need positivity and, and who also want it and, and want to embrace it during a tough time. You know, I think the biggest thing that I've noticed over the last bunch of months that, that we get to be positive about is how we get to strengthen our relationships with our families. When we can't really see many other people, you know, we've been in lockdown for, you know, we were in lockdown there for a couple months or so, and still, you know, a lot of people aren't, aren't doing too much. So being with our families and, and having that opportunity to, to strengthen those relationships, you know, it's something that we should really embrace and take advantage of. You know, I know for me, not being able to see my family pretty much all of last year, being away at school, it's been really cool to be able to, to hang out with them and see them more and, and see how your younger siblings are, are growing up or how they're staying the same in, in some ways and just kind of developing those relationships that, that weren't lost while we're away at college, but not we don't necessarily grow apart, but you know it's hard to stay in touch with too much with all that's going on and, and being distanced. And the pandemic can also just in general make us more thankful for, for life as we know it. You know, I think a lot of times we, we take things for granted, you know, back when things were normal. And now we, we wish we had those things that that were normal back then, but now it seems, you know, so far out of reach. Like simple things like just going to the movies, hanging out with your friends, going to a game, you know, or, or even watching a game because a lot of teams across sports just just aren't playing they can't play you know testing is too hard and it's just not safe in some areas people have decided to, to shut it down and, you know i think when life is normal again it, it'll be really cool to see how appreciative everyone is of all the little things that, that we didn't really care about before and yeah it's it's easy to complain but it's, it's hard it takes a toll on you when, when you're always negative and um I think one thing that really bothers me is, you know, people who just complain, you know, no matter what the situation is, you know, they'll complain when you have to wake up early and go to class and they complain when you can take class in, in your bed and your pajamas and, and wake up at noon. They, they complain because they don't have the, the in-person effect. And, and yeah, the, being in person is definitely easier to learn. But if I told people a year ago you could take class in your pajamas, at home and sleep as much as you want. I I think they would take that and think it's it's awesome, you know. The pandemic is also or the pandemic has also brought a lot of people back to their hometowns. I know being from Binghamton and now living in Binghamton, again, there's a lot of people that I didn't see last year, but now everyone has kind of been forced back into their hometowns, and it's really cool to to see a familiar face. That you haven't seen in a long time just just doing normal just going to the store or, or getting gas and you, and you see someone that you used to see every day but but haven't seen in a while i think that that's been really cool and something that we shouldn't take for granted either another opportunity to to strengthen relationships that that you haven't had in a while and the pandemic also has given us a lot of time to self-reflect it's really given us the gift gift of time and uh, you can focus on, you know, whatever you want to improve at or be better at. You have all that time to think and learn and grow as yourself. So when life is back to normal, you're, you're a better version of yourself. And I think that that's a great opportunity that we should take advantage of. And uh, being around the holiday season, I think it's something to really be positive about. You know, this is a time where 
we need things to look forward to and be excited about and be positive with. And, you know, the holidays are a time to be happy and spend time with family. And I think, although it's not going to be normal, you might not be able to see everyone that you usually see. Just, just don't take it for granted, you know. The holidays, holidays are special, whether you're in a pandemic or not. You know, personally, I think the the mindset for me has been very evident about, um, I think you just have a choice. You could say, you know, I, I get to do something or I, I have to do something. And when you when you get to do something, you just embrace the, the opportunity even more and, and you carry that positive mindset with you at all times. And I think, think for me, you know, and a, a lot of other athletes, you know, last year our seasons were were canceled, you know, at the end of the year. And usually practice, you know, not many people love to practice. But now, you know, seeing how excited everyone is because they get to go to practice finally after, you know, a six, eight month hiatus is really refreshing. And I think we should take that, that mindset of I get to versus I have to into all of our, our daily aspects of lives. And, and I think we'll be a lot better off that way. Thank you.